Imagine waking up after being dead for 24,000 years. Not metaphorically, dead. Actually dead, frozen solid, every cell in your body crystallized into ice. And then, you just start living again. This isn't science fiction. In 2021, Russian scientists drilling through Siberian permafrost pulled up something impossible. A microscopic animal called a bedeloid rotifer. It had been entombed in ice since woolly mammoths walked the earth. They thawed it out, and it started eating, moving, reproducing. As if no time had passed at all, this is cryptobiosis, the ability to pause life itself. And if you think that's strange, wait until you see what else is frozen at the bottom of our world. Welcome to Antarctica, where biology breaks its own rules, where mountains hide beneath miles of ice, and where the Internet's wildest conspiracy theories go to die or get born. Let's talk about these rotifers for a moment, because they're not just surviving. They're performing biological magic. When temperatures drop or water disappears, these creatures don't die. They replace the water in their cells with a sugar called trehalose, which acts like biological antifreeze. Their metabolism doesn't slow down. It stops completely. Zero heartbeat. Zero brain activity. They become glass. Scientists have sent them to space, exposed them to vacuum, bombarded them with radiation. They just wait it out. Then spring back to life when conditions improve. But here's what keeps researchers up at night. If life can pause for 24,000 years in ice, what else is waiting down there? What other biological time capsules are locked beneath Antarctica's two-mile-thick ice sheets? Because Antarctica isn't just a frozen desert. It's a laboratory. A place where the normal rules of Earth get rewritten. In 2021, an iceberg the size of London broke off from Antarctica's ice shelf. Its name was A74, and when it calved away, it exposed something no human had ever seen. A seafloor ecosystem that had been buried in darkness for thousands of years. Scientists dropped cameras down there. What came back was haunting. Giant sponges, some as tall as a person, dotting the ocean floor like alien structures. The phantom jellyfish. A creature so rare, it had only been spotted four times in history, drifting through the black water like a ghost. These organisms had evolved in complete isolation, in permanent night, feeding on nutrients that somehow trickle through the ice. But the seafloor isn't the only hidden ecosystem. Antarctica has lakes, lots of them, except they're not on top of the ice, they're underneath it. Lake Vostok sits two miles beneath the surface, buried under ice that's been accumulating for 15 million years. It's the size of Lake Ontario, completely isolated. Scientists believe it could contain life forms that evolved independently from the rest of Earth, a separate branch of the tree of life that we haven't even discovered yet. Then there's Lake Enigma. The name says, it all. It's somehow liquid at minus 13 degrees Celsius. No one knows why it hasn't frozen solid. The chemistry is all wrong. The physics doesn't make sense. It's a riddle wrapped in ice. If you're looking for landscapes that seem ripped from another planet, Antarctica delivers blood falls. A five-story waterfall that pours red liquid out of the Taylor Glacier. When explorers first saw it in 1911, they thought the ice was bleeding. Turns out it's iron-rich salt water from a lake sealed beneath the glacier for over a million years. When it hits oxygen, it rusts instantly, staining the ice crimson. Then there's the finger of death. Filmed for the first time in 2011, it's a column of supercooled brine that sinks through the ocean like an icy stalactite, freezing everything it touches. Starfish, urchins, entire patches of seafloor, all turned into frozen sculptures in seconds. It moves. It kills. It's called a brinicle. And watching footage of it feels like witnessing the ocean's own ice age in Fast Forward. 
but perhaps nothing matches the sheer strangeness of the Gamburtsev Mountains. Picture the Alps. Snow-capped peaks, jagged ridges, except buried under a mile of ice. You can't see them. You can only detect them with radar. These mountains shouldn't exist. They're in the middle of a tectonic plate where mountains don't form. And yet, there they are, silent and hidden, defying geology itself. And above it all, Mount Erebus, the southernmost active volcano on Earth, constantly erupting and spewing microscopic crystals of gold into the atmosphere. 12 pounds of gold dust every single day. If Antarctica is a time capsule, then meteorites are its most precious artifacts. The white ice makes them easy to spot. The cold preserves them perfectly. And because Antarctica's ice flows in predictable patterns, meteorites that fell thousands of years apart all get funneled into the same collection zones. In 1984, scientists found one that changed everything. ALHH84001. A meteorite from Mars blasted off the red planet 17 million years ago and finally landing in Antarctica 13,000 years ago. Inside, they found microscopic structures that looked biological. Tiny tubes, carbonate globules, organic molecules. Some scientists claimed it was evidence of ancient Martian life. Others disagreed. The debate still rages today. But here's the thing. ALH-84001 isn't alone. Dozens of Martian meteorites have been found in Antarctica. They're pieces of another world, scattered across the ice, waiting to tell us whether life exists beyond Earth. In 2016, a balloon experiment called ANITA was flying over Antarctica, detecting high-energy particles from space. Neutrinos, mostly. Ghostly particles that pass through entire planets without touching anything. But Anita detected something weird. Signals coming up from the ice. High-energy neutrinos traveling upward, which shouldn't be possible unless they'd pass through the entire Earth. The Internet exploded. NASA discovers parallel universe, the headlines screamed. Clickbait spread like wildfire. The reality? Far less sensational, but way more interesting. It wasn't a parallel universe. It was likely just radio interference. Or perhaps a new type of particle interaction we don't fully understand yet. Scientists are still investigating, but that's the thing about Antarctica. It invites speculation. It's so remote, so extreme, that when anything unusual happens there, our imaginations run wild. Speaking of wild imaginations, let's debunk some viral nonsense. The Antarctic Pyramid. Every few years, a photo circulates, showing what looks like a perfect pyramid poking through the ice. Aliens, right? Lost civilizations? Nope, it's just a mountain. A naturally occurring pyramidal peak called a nunatak, shaped by wind and erosion. Geology, not ancient architects. The Alien Door A perfect rectangular opening in an ice shelf that went megaviral. Except it's an iceberg, a tabular iceberg that calved off with sharp geometric edges. Nature does right angles all the time. And the giant ice ship. Blurry satellite images of what people claimed was a massive vessel frozen in the ice. It was rocks, just rocks and shadows. But not every mystery is fake. Some are tragically real. In 1845, Sir John Franklin led an expedition to chart the Northwest Passage. His two ships, HMS Erebus and HMS Terror, vanished into the Arctic ice with 129 men aboard. For over 170 years, they were lost. In 2014, the wreck of Erebus was finally found. Then Terror in 2016. The ships had been crushed by ice, their crews succumbing to starvation, lead poisoning, and cold. Some had resorted to cannibalism in their final days. And here's a chilling connection. Mount Erebus in Antarctica is named after that doomed ship, a volcano named for a vessel that died in ice. Antarctica 
also holds paleontological secrets. In 2019, researchers discovered the fossilized claw of a terror bird, a 10-foot-tall prehistoric predator that once roamed the continent when it was green and warm. And then there's the thing, a mysterious soft-shelled egg the size of a football found in 2011. It's the largest soft-shelled egg ever discovered, and scientists still aren't sure what laid it. Antarctica is a paradox. It's the emptiest place on Earth, yet it's overflowing with secrets. It's a frozen wasteland, yet it's bursting with life. It's the most studied continent, yet we've barely scratched the surface. Beneath that ice are ecosystems we've never seen. Lakes that might harbor alien biology. Mountains that defy physics. Meteorites carrying clues to life on other planets. And creatures that can literally pause time. The more we discover, the more questions emerge. And maybe that's the point. Maybe Antarctica isn't meant to give us answers. It's meant to remind us how much we still don't know. Because every time we think we've figured out this planet, Antarctica proves us wrong. The frozen continent isn't just Earth's archive, it's Earth's challenge, and we're only just beginning to decode it.